number 235 in the indicator series is Eye of the Cat. Now I primarily just picked this up because I got a bundle deal with the Hammer set. It looked kind of curious, cats attacking people, it's called Eye of the Cat. I was really kind of curious about this one. Going into it thinking it was a horror was probably a big mistake because it's more of a drama with some real psychological terror put into this one as well. We're kind of thrown into our main character of Wiley, who just seems to be a, a, a lad, a lad about town, enjoys going with the ladies, partying, doesn't take life too seriously and isn't really too bothered uh, about uh, things. And he has got um, a bit of a checkered history. He has a rather rich aunt whom he doesn't really care too much about. He just wants to go about living his life when Cassia comes into things. This beautiful um, beautician who takes Wiley and, and kind of offers up a plan. Her aunt has a large amount of money and she is willing to leave it all to Wiley if only he would return and spend the last of her days with him. She's seriously ill with a lung condition and Wiley isn't really too bothered about it but he kind of likes Cassia and he kind of likes a game. He likes to play. He is, like I said, a playboy at heart. He, he likes to have fun and he decides that he will go back to the house but he has a little bit of a hang up, a little quirk that makes him different than most people. He has a paralyzing fear of cats. And he tells this wonderful story that's really effective of his childhood with a cat that uh, just kind of gave him this irrational fear. And we see him kind of reconnect with his aunt. He goes back to her house to discover that she has dozens of cats all over the place that instantly puts him in the back foot. So Cassia manages to get his brother Luke who stays with the aunt as well to clean all the cats out. Uh, they go back into this house and it's the basic four characters living in this house all with different plans of what's going on. The aunt is really happy to have Wiley back. There is a kind of weird sexual a relationship between them or it feels as if there is some kind of sexual tension in some way or other. Uh, Luke, the other brother, is just absolutely hated by the aunt even though he's the one that does everything um, to look after her. Uh, Luke and Wiley's relationship is really kind of fun as well. There's that kind of dependence there that um, Wiley is the bigger brother, the one that should have been looking after Luke, but Luke has had to become uh, the more reliable uh, and straight-laced one where he would rather be out in the world with Wiley as well and Cassia. The person that's causing all the trouble here, she's the one that's got the plan to bring Wiley back into Aunt's life and to murder her to get her money. And I love the way this one played out. I love the fact that Wiley was such a... a a fun character. He just liked to play mind games and he made no bones about it. He would tell everybody everything. It, when Luke stumbles upon a Cassia and um, him in the basement, Wiley just turns around and says, yes, yeah, she's here to kill her aunt. You know, he just, he just says things as they are to see how people are going to react, to see the fun moments that they have. And then slowly and surely, the cats seem to be coming back towards the house. They've all been dumped early on, but they are coming back at certain points. And they're building to that fear of what is going to happen to Wiley when he sees these uh, cats. Are they going to be able to kill the ant and get away with it and get the money and will Luke stop them or is, does he have some other kind of uh, plot as well? Incredibly fun, incredibly playful and it's just one of those movies that never heard of, uh, expected one thing, got something completely different but I really like that. I love the photography of San Francisco as well when we're out and about the parks or the streets I love the, uh, the character of the aunt. That weird relationship between Wiley and her was just really kind of oddly captivating. Um, I, I loved just the idea of Wiley who just just didn't care about the money. It really, he wanted enough to, to facilitate his next couple of days of playing around. But other than that, 
didn't care about anything else. Um, that was it. It was just there for giggles, for fun, uh, to have a little bit of a laugh, which is unusual. And then you get the cats that are all the way through the movie, that are always slinking around, that are shot into a, almost slow motion with this really ominous music that creates this terrifying idea of these animals as being more than just household pets, as being something almost supernatural and twisted uh, and horrifying. Eye of the Cat was great. I, I really enjoyed this one. This doesn't seem to be a particularly well-reviewed movie um, or one that's super enjoyed a lot. I thought it was great. I thought the performances were all wonderful. The location of the house was great. The idea of the cats, wonderful. And just Wiley as that main character was just great. I'll go back and watch this one again. I'll recommend it to anybody that's willing to listen. I had a great deal of fun and I would love to know if you've seen Eye of the Cat and your thoughts. Let me know in the comment box below. I'll see you next time on Man V Film.